hello everyone in this video i want to show you how to convert gram to percentage um this is geared towards uh formulation okay skincare formulation so if you reach this video from another source then i hope it helped you out but i'm talking to formulators how to you know convert okay gram in your formulation to percentage now let's say you want to make a 100 gram of your lotion or, or, or your cream what do you do so have here i have uh, something written out i don't like math but because this is just a simple calculation that all formulators use i want to bring this to your uh, attention so to convert your gram to percentage you're going to use a very simple formula and here is the formula you're going to take you're going to know exact the amount of uh, gram you're going to make so let's say you want to make 100 gram of lotion that's easy right because we can easily but i'll still calculate it for you so 100 gram of your lotion and you have 30 gram 40 gram but you you're thinking of possibility of scaling up later on so you want to convert this to percentage so here is what you do the simple formula here is you take the percentage so you have to find a percentage of each ingredient okay so you take the percentage let's say the water now we're going to take the water percentage so the calculation is to convert it to percentage okay you take one so this is 30 gram of your water phase okay we're going to divide that by the total gram that we have okay so let me zoom this a bit more so there we are on the same page so you're going to divide that by the total percentage you have so divided by 100 gram okay i don't like math so just see i don't like math but this is very simple then you're going to multiply that by 100 percent so that is what will give you the percentage so all you have to do is just cross the gram <coughs> excuse me so divide that 30 by 100 gram so get your calculator just like I am doing now. I don't like math, you know. So you take 30 gram divided by, so that's 30, okay? Your calculator here. 30 divided by 100 equals 0 0.3, okay? So that's 0 0.3 multiplied by 100. So 0 0.3 okay on remember we still have that percentage nothing is crossing it out so 0 0.3 multiplied by 100 equals 30 gram okay that's how you do it <coughs> i mean it's called 30 percent not gram anymore because we have gram here right so it's going to be 30 percent and that's how you get so the same applies to 40 we just bring the 40 here 40 divided by total so gram gram okay multiply by 100 percent and that is gram cross gram 40 divided by 100 is 0 0.4 multiply by 100 percent and that is that will give us 40 percent okay and that is what we we'll put here 40 percent the same applies to this so we just put the 30 just like we did here 30 divided by 100 multiply by <coughs> 100 percent so that 100 is the 100 gram so we're going to just just like what we got in the first part we're going to put in is 30 percent so if you add this all together should be equals to 100 percent so 60 plus uh, 30 plus 30 is 60 plus 40 is 100 so make sure everything is 100 percent that is how to convert your gram now when i'm when i'm doing something i like to do it a bit more complex okay so now i'm going to now go to 120 gram okay 120 gram okay it's not that easy because 100 when you have 100 gram it's okay for instance if you have 100 gram you can you easily know it's it, it, it calls the same uh, it's the same as you know 100 percent so we're going to do it like that but if you are doing 120 gram now we're going to use the same formula you're going to take your 40 gram okay using the same formula here the formula is percentage of single ingredient okay divided the percentage of the total ingredient okay multiplied by 100 percent so now we want to do this for 120 gram what do we do we use the same approach we're going to so for our water is 40 so we're going to take 40 gram 
divided by 100 because this batch weight is 120. I want to make 120, right? Gram of this. So then all multiply by 100 percent equals. So we're going to take this out. Then take your calculator, just like I'm doing here. <clears throat> well, we're going to do 40 divided by 120 equals 0 0.333. Then we'll multiply that by 100. Multiply by 100 equals 33.3. So 33.33%. Okay. Remember, that's what we got, right? So that's uh, <coughs> that is going to be 33.33 percent, and because it's all the same size, right? We're just going to take 33.33 percent, 33.33 percent. So if you count, add everything together, it should equals <coughs> it should equals um, 100. Okay, so 33.33 multiplied by 3, it should be 100. So that's how you convert gram to percentage. <coughs> and this is very useful for you that are doing DIY. So if you want to upgrade to professional formulation, all you have to do is to convert your gram that you already have, convert it to percentage. Even if you don't like, like math like me, this is so straightforward. As a professional formulator, you need this going forward. You need to be able to understand this basic principle. Now, in another video, I don't want to mix this together. I'm going to show you how to convert from percentage to gram. That is very important when you, you're just playing around or you want to just, you know, establish some, some fact. So, but this is one of the most popular. Now, in my next video, I will show you how to convert from percentage to gram so you know this when you are formulating your product. So thank you so much for watching. This is a channel where I show upcoming formulator DIY people that want to learn a professional formulation, how to take the formulation skill to another level. So this is a channel for you. Click that subscribe button and click the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching everyone.